Hello, my squad of Universal Legends, and to welcome to today's video over Steam Engines. Now, because this video is coming out before the Electric Engines, which basically all my videos have been recorded, got messed up, and being recorded in the wrong order now, so they have like different explainings, this is going to be a bit weird. So, let's go with the Steam Control real quickly. Steam Control, that allows you to control the burn rate. Burn rate is how much material a second you burn per boiler, I believe. So each boiler is set to burn 0.25 material a second. Now, the reason you will want this is because the higher the burn rate, the higher the pressure you can get. Now, you'll see about that in a second. So, pipes, corner pipes, and let's go with some three way pipes real quickly and another corner pipe now for in it to create some energy you're gonna like if you're pure normal energy no electrical thing whatsoever you're going to want to use the cranks however before we get to the cranks we're gonna put some wheels now then we're gonna put what is the shaft you uh, just extends the crank so if you don't want to place full long pranks themselves and then we're going to put some pistons pistons must be facing like this where they actually go out and connect to the crank and the reason they're going so slow is because there's like one set of pistons trying to move all that and they don't have too much pressure so if you can check here you can see they have a speed of 19 and a pressure of 8 in the pipes now something we will be adding real quickly are called generators and these connect to the wheels they're gonna slow down the speed even more well normally they do however these wheels will create battery power because of the kinetic energy being generated from here so this is a kinetic energy generating steam engine this feeds off that kinetic energy now as you can tell it's going a bit slow however if we increase the burn rate, it increases the pressure, like the boiler has pressure. I don't know how to get that out quicker. How do I get that out? Let me see that real quickly. Are we able to... Good. I doubt it. Yeah, I was wondering, are we able to just get that to go through? Because that'd be nice. But, at last, we can. Anyways, it's, as you can see, it's picking up speed because it's getting more pressure in it. And it would speed up, however, for the amount of crank shafts we have, that is not enough. So what can we do? If we use corner pipes, okay, I don't know why that one got deleted. I thought I was holding shift, but I guess not. We can do this. So we go to the steam engines, we go to the large ones. If you aren't getting enough pressure normally, then you can just use large steam engines. And then because of they have an increased volume, they'll create more steam pressure quicker. Now as you can see, these things are picking up speed much quicker. And, and this one is on the default 0.25 boiling rate. That's because each of these large boilers, I believe, is three times that of the normal boiler should well it should be i don't know i don't quite remember so as you can see they're still turning quite slow so how would we fix that once again we just increase the burn rate and as you can see these things are going to start picking up speed quite hastily and there we go now they look a bit more fluid and we're generating electrical energy now there is no real way to test that besides probably being in the campaign since in the vehicle designer, when you place the battery, it are, default spawns with full power. So, as you can see, yeah, this is working a lot more now, and we're getting a lot more energy out of it. Matter of fact, we went from 16,000 to 25,000, and that's just with the few cranks we have now. If we want to, we could keep extending this outward to adding more boilers and making the engine more powerful. This has its advantages to fuel engines because it's more compact, like you can make it more compact and get 
relatively around the same thing or you can make it big about the same size as a fuel engine and depending on how you build this like say you go place these things up here and instead of using two meters you use four meters like but back to this you can do this and then you can go like four ways give me one second how high do i need to make that and then a three way there i think i only need to make it two meters Wait a second. I don't need to do that. Thanks to thanks for a second. Yeah, definitely don't need to do that. That's just gonna make us lose a lot of pressure real quickly. So, so we force it all to go through one, and then we go to your corner pipes. Two meters. This four way, and then three way, and then corner. Now we have it up here. And if you wanted to, you could also put it below it as well. So you could have like four of these going on one set of crank, generating even more power. And if you increase the boiler size, you can make it fairly powerful. And like I said, if you use the four meter cranks instead, which are in the large gearbox, I'm not going to explain these too well. These are just like an enhanced version of it. So you, depending on how much space you have, you can make these longer out and you'll get more power and stuff. But yeah. Not too much to worry about. So that's a normal one. Now we're just going to grab one of these real quickly. Move up a bit. And let's only place three because we're not going to need too many for this. Now for this, we're, just, we're going to use the large as well. So just one pipe, a seam. And this is where it's going to get really confusing. So turbine, we're going to use large turbine. We're going to put the end. We're gonna get that bullet tip going into the pipe. And then we're going to get the middle, as long as you want it. And then we want the front with the trumpet coming out. And that is because the turbine is gonna have two bullet tips. You're gonna want that going, the turbine going this way for some reason into it. But as you can see, it's going through here. And the turbine, now this one is not creating like kinetic energy, it is creating battery power energy. So this thing is a way you can charge batteries using the steam engines besides the wheels because honestly wheels even though like the, if you get enough of these they can be really efficient if you're just trying to go for pure in electric craft and you want to use steam engines you don't have to use the large turbines by the way like you can use the small ones they're one block as well or you can use like a compact turbine you can just get like multiple of those because it has all the parts in it in one small block that's a good way to generate electricity as well so steam engines quite quite simple and versatile this is just a short video if you want a way way more in-depth video and probably better sounding and or looking video go check out Lathrix's video i i probably would end up putting a link in the description i don't quite know just yet but anyways thank you all for watching like the video if you liked it dislike the video if you didn't and tell me what i can do better Subscribe to the channel, and as always, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.